Alright guys, so you to here and today I'll be doing a review on the latest Sculptures uh, figurine, Series 5, is Son Goku, Super Saiyan Blue. God, Super Saiyan God Blue, we would call it. So yeah, um, this is the new Sculptures line that's just come out. This is the first figurine at the set. Um, I believe there's a Golden Freeze which is on the back of this, and I don't know what else is coming out yet, it's still in sort of production I guess. So what we'll do is we'll do a little view of the box, then we'll see what this figurine has to offer and I'll do a comparison shortly after we review this with my uh, Super Saiyan Goku. Right so the box just basically says here you got like Sculptors 5 there, Sun Goku. Illustration on the front is pretty cool, I do like it. Very nice, very eye catching. Uh, you've got the usual companies, you've got Crane King on top there and you've got uh, Van Presto and you've got the Sculptors uh, uh, logo there on the left. Um, on the side is, as you can see there, it's introducing you to Freezer. It looks really cool and I will be definitely buying that when it comes available. So then I can have the set fine alongside each other. The other side is basically just different angles of the character so you can get to see what the preview of Freezer is and I'm definitely looking forward to getting that. On the top here you have other companies such as um, Jammer left there and you've got an official toy sticker there as well as well as the usual stuff on the back just shows you um, just a little bit of Japanese information on the figurine and just add the two figurines there the first lot and yeah I think that's about it for the box without further ado let's show you guys the actual figurine so this is Goku out of the box, or assembled, he comes with a base, a see-through pole that goes into his leg and into the base, and obviously the figure eight, which only comes as a, as a whole, it doesn't come in half, it comes as a whole, so remember that. So yeah, as you can see it looks really great, now what I've seen them do now, what the improvement is on this, is unfortunately this figure is very small compared to the original and I'll show you the other one anyway but the base is really nice I love the base they've improved the bases a lot and I'm very happy about that but they've, we've sort of sacrificed that for the size of the actual figurine which is not a bad thing because the actual um, actual detail is still awesome which I'm very happy about so what I'm going to do guys is do a 360 view of him and then we can see how awesome he is so as you can see there it is a cheap figurine, but for the price, it is really good, and I think it's just great. Got to use the uh, usual blue shoes on there. Let's just stop it right there so you guys can see the actual face of Goku. You can see there. It looks really great. I love the detail. You can see all in his mouth. You see his tongue. You can see all the definition of his muscles. All his creases in his uniform. It looks fantastic. And I love his hair. Even though his hair isn't exactly the best looking. But then this line is cheap. So it is still nice. At least it doesn't have like. You know what bootlegs have. They have like them sort of rough edges. And holes in the actual um, sculpt, sculpt sculpture. So yeah. This doesn't have that. Thankfully, this is quite smooth. Um, I can show you the bit there of his hair. It is quite a nice blue. So yeah, I've seen a lot worse. So as you can see, yeah, this is Goku about to charge a uh, golden freezer. So yeah, it looks really cool. And like I said, the definition on the muscle is fantastic. All the colours, definition are spot on. And yeah, it's just fantastic. So. Moving on to the base now, the base is quite nice. It's like, sort of like a volcanic ground, if, if, if that makes sense. I mean, it, you can see there, like an orangey glow to it here. And it's sort of like, see that a bit better now. You guys can see that. There we go. So yeah, it's like a volcanic rock he's uh, sort of about to fly off from. And it is rather unique and quite nice. I do like, like the base, it's quite nice. I love the little touch they've done that. 
love the sculpturing on that, really cool. And on there's like sort of a rough feel to it. So yeah, um, that's that. That's that figure done. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, is do a quick comparison of the two, and then that'll be in the review. Right, so as you can see, guys, <laughs> it is very small. You can see the difference in the size. It's actually pretty much half the size of the figurine. But like I said, the detail is good. Not as good as this one, but still awesome. But yeah, that, that, it's just weird how they shrunk, they shrunk the size of the figurine and given us a better base. I don't know why they couldn't have just given us both same size figurine and a decent base. Like, as it, there's nothing wrong with this base, you know, it's, it's basic, but that's a lot more nicer to have that base rather than that base. But so, yeah, um, like I said, very small compared to the original sculptures, but nothing wrong with it. Still great, still fantastic um, details on it, great details. Not as much as that Goku, but yeah, you can't win them all. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. That's the end of the review. Please let me know what you think down below in the comments about the new Goku. If you think he's worth buying or not. I paid very, pretty much very little for it. Under £20 for him. He's well worth it. He's a great figure. I love the posies and everything. So it's fantastic. So yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think though, down, down in the comments down below. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this review. And please subscribe. Appreciate all the support and feedback. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more reviews and take care.